Hi, Bobbies! So, I decided to make an English version of my video t- tutorial so that we can access to more uh, viewers and we can help more students and more people to to understand mathematics and also to to help them with some skills about computers and about internet and anything that I know of that I that I can help uh, you with so now I will do uh, the English version of my video t- tutorial about circle so we will start with uh, uh, be, uh, we will start with the introduction of the conic sections. Introduction of the conic section first, because we can understand uh, the concept of circle if we know the introduction of conic section. So, if you, if you, if if you like my channel please 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 click the subscribe button and also click the notification bell so you will be notified in case uh, I have a new video and please like my video for 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 what <laughs> for what please like my video for so that so that I can be more happy <laughs> you know I can anything else. okay so without further ado let's start this video now we will now discuss conic section but before that let me introduce you to this cutie cutie avatar which I made her name is Miss Kami. Miss Kami. You like that, Miss Kami. <laughs> yeah, so this is the avatar for my bubbly virtual event. Now, let's discuss the introduction to conic section. What is conic sections? So before that, let's have a discussion first about this uh, real life, uh, real life objects real life objects that resembles a conic section or that has a shape of a conic section so these are some of the logos that have um, a conic section shape and, and some things and some famous logo and we will go back to this uh, we will go back to this picture so that we can identify what kind of conic section are these objects or these pictures. Okay, now, as you can see, we have this uh, figure here. So, I guess you have an idea why we have this figure because it represents the topic conic section. So, I guess you already know why it's called conic section. Because as you can see, you have these two cones, and we we intersect it with the plane. Intersect with intersect it with the plane. Like in this case, if we intersect the cone with a slanting plane, we can form the conic section, which we call ellipse. And if we intersect the plane in this way, we can form the conic section, which which we know as the circle which is i know that you are all familiar of familiar with the circle so please bear with me if if my grammar is not for perfect if my grammar is not perfect i'm trying my best to explain in english but english is not my native language so please bear with me and if we're going to 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 make a plane to intersect the the cone in this way, intersect a plane in this way, we can form the another uh, famous conic section, which is the parabola. And if we're going to intersect uh, a plane in the double cone, we can form the the another conic section, which is known as the hyperbola. 
Now, this is the definition of the conic section. A conic section is a curve formed by the intersection of a plane and a double cone. So this is another version of the of the uh, conic section in 3D dimension. So this one is the circle. If we're going to intersect it here, if we're going to cut it here, we can form the ellipse. If we're going to cut it here, we can form the parabola. And if we're going to cut it here in the side, we can form the hyperbola and also the other part of the cone. Uh, hyperbola has two, two parts. Yeah. And then, let's talk about a little bit of history about conic section. So, conic section is one of the oldest math subjects studied. The conics were discovered by a Greek mathematician named Menekmus in 375 to 325 BC. Menekmus' intelligence was highly regarded Regarded, regarded. He tutored Alexander the Great. So I guess he is greater than Alexander the Great because he tutored Alexander the Great. Are you okay? Okay. And there is another person involved here, which is who is who is Apollonius. So he was. So, he wrote about conics in a series of books simply titled Conic Sections. So, he's the one concerned with the title Conic Section, which we are all familiar with. If you are a STEM student, I know, I know, I know you are familiar with Conic Section. Apollonius' nickname was the Great Geometer. He was the first to base the theory of all three conics on sections of one circular cone. And na makita. He is also the one to give the name ellipse, parabola, and hyperbola. I was able to change my outfit. So, now let's go back to the uh, real-life objects that uh, we previously shown in our presentation. So, uh, let's go back to these objects. Let's identify what, what kind of, what kind of uh, conic section they represent. For these logos, these represent the uh, conic section ellipse. And this one, this building represent the conic section parabola. And this one represent the conic section hyperbola and this one represents the conic section parabola so as you can see we have so many real life objects that represents a conic section therefore it is really important to to learn conic section especially to those who will uh, pursue engineering career and anything that involves this um, that, anyone anything that involves this kind of uh, geometric objects so i hope you uh, understand the topic and for the next topic i will discuss circles so i hope you will join me again with another video and if again if you like this video can do you subscribe and Click the notification bell if you want to have the notification for my next video and also like this video. I'll see you again. Bye. Yeah,